I'm good. Yes. Good. My second one ever after my first one. Really? Yeah. So. Wow. Welcome. I'm going to try and be more uh, new. Yeah, I ran out of questions. In my head, ran out of questions. But this is, I've learned something about preparation. To Tim and, and Harry. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys can those guys are go on. I'm sorry. Um, we'll be in the answer. Um, should we start? Yeah. Fantastic. Um, so you feature in my favorite of the six. I mean, this is, I'm not just saying this. Um, it was. You said that to Harry. <laughs> I actually, <laughs> I actually <laughs> didn't, and the evidence will be there. Um, and and it's, a very, it's a very self-contained story. Did you feel like you were part of this broader anthology of, of shorter stories, or did you just feel like you were on the wagon trail? Uh, both, in some sense, I think. You know, we both read the, the whole script prior to shooting our bit. Um, and so we understood kind of, to a certain degree, in any case, how it fit into the piece as a whole. But, um, and you know, sort of what our task was within, within that. But uh, they, we were shot in western Nebraska. It was the only, only section that shot out there. And um, and it was being the longest. It was like four weeks we were out there, so it felt very self-contained. You know, you sort of it's sort of your job to to internalize the other things, but to behave as though your story is the only one that that is of interest to, to your characters, yeah. at least. You know, uh, yeah. And it's a pretty a pretty big story and a pretty uh, epic sweep to it. Did you did you feel like you were making a kind of short film, or did you feel like you were just on another big budget epic western? Well, yeah, with like all the other big budget epic westerns we've done, <laughs> felt exactly like all the rest of them. Um, no, uh, if you know, I think when you're shooting on a film, any film, you're only there for the portion that you're filming. So I've been on movies where I sat around all day in my trailer and waited to shoot, um, and uh, on this we were working every single day mm -hmm. because of the kind of like concentrated nature of the shoot. But I don't know, it, it could have, we could have been part of a larger film, that a, a more conventional film, I don't know. And had the same experience. Exactly, the yeah, same yeah, exact yeah. experience, right. yes. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I don't know, I don't know how to answer that. No, sorry, it was a, um, but but the, the Coen brothers, as you, you know, they're, uh, they're big, Big directors. Did it did, did it feel like you were you know it must it must inherently feel like a big project if you've got such a big you know directors attached. Well, the, it feels um, sort of artistically big. You know, it feels like a big responsibility, and 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 the sort of the scope of their imagination is so great, um, both on a large scale and kind of in the moment to moment specificity of how they write. So it does feel big in that sense. Uh, on the other hand, you know, it's they've been working with the same crew for the most part for several decades and it's very much like a family you know we're all out in the prairie together riding horses and staying in a small town so there was something that felt quite intimate about the whole experience yeah, I think, yeah. that's right so you've got a um another film here in london uh wildlife um which you wrote uh, and do you feel like working on on a film like this, which you didn't write, um, that you feel a sort of do you learn something from it? Do you feel a weird sense of competition now as a screenwriter, feeling competitive with the Coen Brothers? If I felt competitive <laughs> with the Coen Brothers, I would need someone to check me into a mental hospital. Everyone secretly feels competitive with everyone. Uh, no, <laughs> just me. No, I don't feel that way. Um, no, you know, one of the nice things about having acting be my primary job and writing being kind of secondary is that I don't have a ton of like um, ego identification with my writing like um, our job as actors is so much more competitive by nature than I actually feel comfortable with mm -hmm. that I, I enjoy having a, another outlet that has nothing to do with any other person it's much more like being a swimmer or something where you're, you're racing the clock you're not racing the other swimmers um, you know, there's, I, I don't, you know, also, frankly, it's not a competitive art. Like, I want every other film to be great. I want, I'm a film lover. You know, I, I love to go yeah. to the movies and be surprised and astonished and challenged. And um, that doesn't happen unless other people are, like, fully, you know, uh, investing in their work. Um, yeah. But is yours the best? Well, mine is the best. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. No, sorry. I thought that was clear. Yeah, That's no, why I don't feel right competitive, because sure mine is the best. <laughs> um, you've also worked with my favorite director, Nancy Myers. Um, and I just I, I wanted to ask whether, um, you know, what a Nancy Myers Western? Maybe, maybe that's something, something you could pitch. Maybe oh you could write God. it, Nancy could direct it. 
I would give it five stars. Immaculate cattle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The crisp white linen <laughs> caravans. How does she compare to the Coen brothers? Wow, they're so different. Um, you know, I mean that that it's like you know it's almost a joke question. I get it, but it's not. A, it's not. Oh, it's just okay. an indul self indulgent question, which may be cut from. Uh, Nancy Myers is abs is a is the kind of director who wants to touch every single thing before it's on screen. She wants to, um, you know, know what sheets are on the bed. She wants to have the actor's face be turned just so. Like it's it's um <laughs> it's almost like working with like um. Brisson or something, and that like you're you're in some ways, um, she's like orchestrating everything. Um, whereas these guys, as Bill was saying, have been working with the same crew for 20, 30 years, and so they've delegated a lot of responsibility. You know, I I never saw them have a conversation with um, Mary Zofries, for instance, right. a costume designer. You know, there's a kind of sense of other people have their hands on it, and they have they have sort of like their eye on the whole picture. Right. Yeah. 